Welcome back to another episode of ECOT TV. This time we meet Celia Aker, an ECOT 8th grader who is taking steps to pursuing her dream of becoming a dancer in the New York City Ballet. I'm ECOT 12th grader Kayla Quidiron and you are watching ECOT TV. I love dancing because when I'm dancing, I feel relaxed and calm. And when I'm dancing, I feel like all the tension and all of the stress is just released from off my back. My name is Celia Aker. I'm in seventh grade. I've been at ECOT for three years and I'm from Medina, Ohio. I first started dancing when I was three years old. I was a little nervous about it because I didn't know if people were going to be, you know, judging me and telling me if I was good or bad. But once I started doing it, I started just flowing with it and catching the rhythm and I had a lot of fun. When I was younger, I was walking out of the classroom at dance class and my teacher came up to me and said that I had a little dancer in my heart and that she was very proud of me. And that just kickstarted my dancing career and I really took that compliment very seriously. And now I use that to help encourage me. When I started in dance, I just took dancing lessons and I would practice at school, at home, and also in dance classes. And I n I've never competed before, but I do perform for charity events. When I first learned about ECOT, I was very excited because I knew that this would help me with um, improving my dance and being able to still comprehend all of the lessons that they were teaching. So I wouldn't let my grades slip, but I would also be able to excel as a dancer. My teachers have been very encouraging and they support me even though I have a very demanding schedule. I take ballet class on Wednesdays and then also on Wednesdays I go to the meeting of the group that I'm in for the charity events. And then on Thursdays, I am in a jazz class. All of the other days, I practice mostly at home for about an hour a day. At dance class, we stretch and we do some cardio exercises and then we go across the floor and we do some pirouette combinations and some leaps and some other kicks that we do to get our heart pumping. I like ballet a little bit more than jazz because ballet is very graceful but at the same time it's very dramatic and I think that it's just the best of both worlds. When I get older I would like to graduate and then get into Juilliard and be able to graduate from there and get into the New York City Ballet. I dance because I think that it's a way of expressing yourself and I think that if you can't express yourself with, with words, then this is another great way that you can do it. Last week, for our question of the week, we asked you what is your favorite animal and why? Our first response comes from Jibril, who says, my favorite animal is the cheetah because it can run really fast and are the fastest animal on the planet. Our next response comes from Sarah on Facebook, who writes, my favorite animal is a zebra. I really just love zebra print. I also think it's really cool how no two zebras have the same pattern. And our final response comes from Brandy on Facebook who says, my favorite animal is the polar bear because they blend into the snow and are so cute with their baby cubs. Thank you to everyone for all your great responses. Our next question of the week comes from James File Sticker. He wants to know if you were a cartoon character, who would you be and why? You can respond by messaging us in the IQD Message Center or on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Vine. The winners of the question of the week will be featured on the next ECOT TV episode and receive an ECOT TV prize pack. Now let's take a look at some upcoming ECOT events.
With OGT testing coming up later this month, we wanted to share a few tips for test taking and preparation. The first tip of this week is to show up early to your test site, go in and get comfortable before you launch into the test. In our second tip, we show you how to approach multiple choice questions on the test. Read the entire question before attempting to answer it. First, try to answer the questions without looking at the choices. Then look at the choices to see if your answer is the same as or close to one of the choices. Read carefully any questions using the words not or accept. Go with your gut. Don't keep changing your answer. Usually your first choice answer is the right one. Use process of elimination and substitution methods on questions where you are unsure of the correct answer. Do not leave any questions blank. If you want to see our complete list of testing tips and find links to other resources, look for the testing tips on ekitv.com. Good luck. And now let's look at a promo video for the upcoming college and career fair. And remember, look for the ECOT TV film crew at this event for your chance to audition to become an ECOT TV anchor. That's all for this episode of ECOD TV. Remember, if you have an interesting hobby or talent that you would like to share with our audience, send us a message in the IQED Message Center. For everyone here at ECOD TV, I'm Kayla Quinn and thanks for watching.